This tutorial looks at front stalling and how to avoid it. A front stall is where your kite drops or flies towards you. Normally, the apparent wind pressures the underside of the canopy more than the top side, lifting the kite and keeping line tension. However, in a few situations, that wind might stop or the apparent wind might pressure the top side of the canopy more than the underside. This starts the kite flying towards you. The lines become completely slack and you lose steering control. Most front stalls, however, are so small you might not even notice them. The kite drifts back and recovers automatically. In some situations, front stalls will be bigger and harder to deal with. These are often called Hindenburgs. It is possible to regain control after your lines go completely slack, if you move quickly. As soon as you spot the center lines losing tension, move upwind and away from the kite to straighten out the lines. This can be done on foot or while riding. The sooner you straighten the lines the better, otherwise a tangle may occur. As always, you need to be ready with your chicken loop eject in case a tangled line or bridle starts steering your kite. It's important to remember that it's often not possible to regain control after a big front stall. The kite could drop anywhere and your lines could become tangled. Because it's often not possible to fix a front stall, it is best that you learn how to prevent them. So now we'll look at the different causes of front stalls and how to avoid them. Very light wind is a common cause of front stalling. If the wind drops too much, the kite might not be able to lift its own weight. To avoid this, you need to monitor line tension. When your kite has excess lift, you will feel this as tension in the center lines. When the kite's lift is disappearing, you'll feel the center line tension disappearing. You then need to steer to get the kite moving and regain line tension. If the wind is just a few knots, you may have to keep the kite moving at all times. Gusty wind can also cause front stalls. The wind could drop suddenly or it could shift direction and pressure the top of the kite. Here, for example, the wind direction is shifting significantly, which blows the kite towards the rider. This happened because of the wind obstacles directly upwind of the kite. This is why kiters look for wind that approaches over open ocean or smooth ground. It's best to avoid gusty areas in the first place. However, if you are suddenly faced with gusty conditions, there are a few ways to handle it. Try to avoid parking your kite at 12. A kite front stalling from 12 can drop anywhere in the window and is very unpredictable. Whereas a kite front stalling from 45 degrees is a bit more predictable and typically drifts back a short distance into the window. Also with the kite on your side, it makes it easier for you to move away and regain line tension. Next, if you do need to ride through a gusty area, bear in mind that you are less affected while moving. The true wind stays gusty of course, but if you are moving consistently, this creates a consistent headwind. The gusty true wind and the clean headwind combine to slightly improve the predictability of the overall apparent wind. Basically, it's almost impossible for a kite to front stall while you're riding crosswind or while you're moving the kite around. If your kite does front stall in these situations, then the wind conditions are probably not acceptable. Another potential cause of front stalling is riding too quickly downwind or towards your kite. Your lines will go slack if you manage to ride closer to your kite. This can happen on a foil board if you aim it downwind for too long. There is so little drag on a hydrofoil, it can easily close in on the kite.
This can also happen when landing at great speed, especially after looping. Luckily, there is an easy fix if you notice you are closing in on your kite. At first, you will see your center lines bowing. As soon as you notice, start carving your board upwind and away from the kite. Because of your high board speed, you should be able to straighten the lines out quickly. Be ready to use your chicken loop eject, of course, in case a line or bridle became tangled in the process. Another cause of front stalling is when a kite flies beyond the edge of the wind window. Once a kite passes the edge of the window, the top of the canopy can be exposed to the wind. This can be caused by gusty, turbulent wind as we have seen. However, the most common way people encounter an overfly is after a jump. The apparent wind rises as you descend, which allows the kite to fly onto your upwind side. This can be fixed using some well-timed steering to get your kite back on your downwind side. How to deal with this is covered extensively in the jumping tutorials. Interestingly, if the wind is extremely light, just three or four knots, you can even cause an overfly simply by sitting down. As you sit down, the apparent wind is rising, of course, so the kite overflies. Yet again, steering can be used to keep the kite on your downwind side as you sit. Most mainstream kites have been tested extensively and developed to resist front stalls. In half decent wind, the kite should not be dropping and should recover from moderate front stalls. To film these front stalls, we either used wind obstacles to create gusty wind, or we pulled the center lines to force the kite to fly forwards beyond the edge of the wind window. If your kite does front stall a lot in OK wind, there may be a problem. It could be that your kite has been poorly repaired, or perhaps it's an old design, or an obscure or new brand without extensive testing. The Kite Shapes video explains a bit more about what makes a stable kite. Good luck learning to deal with front stalls. Thanks for watching and safe kiting.